Right, so this is just a uh, quick walkthrough on how to create a box and whisker plot in Excel. Now, um, this is what the finished product will look like. You can see we have the data down the left hand column. Uh, then we have the calculations we made with our low score, quartiles, median and high score. Uh, and then the actual box and whisker plot itself in the chart. So uh, I'll just remove that and we'll start all over from the beginning. So um, to start with you'll have your data and um, it doesn't need to be in order because the um, obviously the Excel can calculate everything for you but you may want to order that anyway. And um, what we're going to need to do is set up or we'll calculate five things. We need to know the lowest score which you can just clearly read off if it's in order, the highest, uh, the median which you can calculate by typing equals median and then selecting all of the data don't forget to close the brackets and then when you press enter that should calculate it for you now I'm calculating the quartiles it's a little different Excel when it calculates the quartiles actually includes the median and we don't want to do that so um, I'm just going to this is an order already I'm just going to select the bottom eight because I have 16 records here I think here so there's the bottom eight records and my lower quartile is halfway between five and seven which is six and then my upper quartile is 28.5 okay so um, that's the first step now the next step is we need to um, calculate some stats here that our graph is going to use so the, uh, the first thing is the lower quartile will go in as six so actually I'll say equals that cell over there now the median is not the 15.5 it's actually how much higher it is than the lower quartile so in this case this is going to be 9.5 or if you want to use a formula you say equals click on the median cell then go minus then click on the lower quartile cell and that will give you a 9.5 now same thing with the upper quartile we just need to know how much higher it is than the median so we go equals click on the lower the upper quartile cell minus and then click on median and of course you could do those calculations yourself if you wanted to you don't have to use the, um, the equations here you could just use a calculator uh, finally the top whisker we need to know how much further above the upper quartile that is so again equals the higher score minus the upper quartile score so that means our top whisker will stretch 11.5 above and the lowest whisker is actually going to be how far below is this but it needs to be a positive number so I'm going to say equals uh, the lower quartile minus the lower score so that is five below so now we have all these scores set out and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the middle three the lower quartile median and upper quartile and then we go to the insert menu and under charts I'll go to recommended charts and all charts uh, we want a bar graph and we want a stacked bar graph now there are lots of different types what we want is the one that will end up looking a bit like this um, if you're going sideways uh, and you can see there are two types where it will go sideways this one here however has percentages which is not good we want the one that actually has our cumulative scores so there it is there so it is the second option under bar chart and it's the second type of stacked bar so when you double click that will bring up your bar chart now it's not quite right you can see this gray, th gray box here stretches up to 28.5 which is our upper quartile so I'm going to select that, that upper quartile bar box and what we're going to do to put the whisker on is we're going to add what's called an error bar and the way to do that is with that box selected click on the plus sign and in chart elements that pop up just check error bars and click on that little triangle that pops up there to give you some more options and choose more options and now that will um, send this, uh, this option table out what we want here with our error bars we don't want both directions we only want this to go into the plus side we only want it to go above our upper quartile and for the actual error amount go to custom and in specify value for positive if you just click on this little box here uh, then you can go and select the cell now in this case it's the 11.5 cell because that's how far we want this whisker to stretch in a positive direction and then for the negative value just type in zero in there because we don't want the whisker bar to go into the negatives and press OK and you can see now our whiskers have popped up now for the lower quartile it's a bit more of a pain because we've got this blue box here so I'm just going to make that box disappear not by deleting but we need to keep it there we just need to make it invisible so right click on it 
and the fill option will come up and what you need to do is go to fill and choose no fill and under outline so let's come down here and choose no outline so the box would have effectively been made invisible it is still there just not visible and then the last step to put the error bar on it is to come over to the plus button check error bars click on the triangle and choose more options and this one we only want to go into the minus direction and then under custom when we specify a value the positive error is going to be zero because we don't want to go up the scale the negative error value if you click on that little button there is the low whisker in other words how far down we want the whisker to stretch so then when you click on OK now there's our whisker so now you have a box and whisker graph and you can obviously change your chart and play around with any settings to make it prettier but that is the box and whisker